In this video, I am going to show you how to download an ISO file for Microsoft SQL Server and SSMS installation. Typically, to install a program on your computer, you need an installation CD or DVD. What an ISO file does is that it's an archive file that contains an identical copy of data found on an optical disk, such as CD or DVD. ISO file allows you to emulate an optical disk or an installation CD or DVD on your computer. I am going to walk you through how to download, run uh, this ISO file from the Microsoft website. To do that, open your favorite browser. I prefer Google Chrome and type in Microsoft Data Platform. And you will notice that I have two, these two suggestions here, but these are ads, okay? So I'm going to scroll down a little bit and click on the original Microsoft um, website, okay? So I'm going to select that one and it takes me to Microsoft Platform. And then I'm going to click on the download menu Downloads menu, and then I, once it takes me here, I'm going to scroll down, okay? So I scroll down and choose your installation. Installation, and I have two options here, okay? Am I going to deploy it on a virtual machine or am I going to install it on Windows, okay? In my case, I'm going to install it on Windows, so I'm going to select install on Windows. So once that pops up, I have two options. Azure free account or exe, okay? And if you are in school taking this as a semester course, you should probably talk to your school um, to have an access to Microsoft package and you can download this for free over there as well. But because I'm not going to use an Azure account, I am going to select the exe. The exe and then information comes up here. So you're going to fill your name and all this information. Okay, these are all required. Your company name, job title, and uh, your phone number. And it doesn't have to be any big particular company. Your company doesn't have to be well known. Uh, even if you are, have not started a company, you can still put in the information. And then you click continue, and then the file exe file will be downloaded for you. Once it is done downloading, you should see it in the download folder or any uh, destination folder you assign. Okay, now we are going to run this uh, exe file and download the actual ISO file. So I'm going to go ahead and run the installer. So run as an administrator. I'm going to select yes. Okay, that takes me here. Okay, and then I'm going to, you know, for, for my purposes, let's select the download media. Okay, and then select ISO, okay, because we need an ISO file. Okay, and then um, it asks where I want it to. Okay, I want it in the, my download files. Okay, you may want it in, you know, a different folder. Okay, but I want it in the download folder and then I'll move it manually myself whenever I want. Okay, so I'm going to click download. And then this will download the ISO file. It may take a minute or two. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while you also uh, run this file or download this ISO file. Once it is done downloading, uh, you can see downloaded like successfully, so we are going to open the folder where it is downloaded to, and then we can see this one here. Okay, so now we have our ISO file, file, and this is what we are going to use to install um, SQL Server and SSMS on our Windows machine. And uh, you know, this is the same process you use if you are doing it on your virtual machine. You um, will. Like like we did, I, I select the Windows option, but you can select the Azure option or the virtual machine option 
during the process of uh, downloading the installer. So uh, watch my next video and I'm going to show you how to use this file to um, install SQL Server and SSMS on your computer, whether on your um, window machine or your virtual machine, I'm going to show you how to do both the options for those.